ranking the best defensive ends in college football and boys we are back here with another tier list update today we got a big one today we're going to be updating defensive ends before we get into today's video i do want to talk about our sponsor real quick mmoexp.com if you guys want an alternative to buying packs consider buying coins at mmoexp and make sure to use code dilla checkout for five percent off your order now before we do go ahead and get into the new cards right here want to take a look at the old tier list and honestly for me nothing really is changing i still think james pierce is deserving of this s tier still the only player in the game with that silver quick jump ability but we will have some people joining him today now we're going to go ahead and get it started right here with elijah o'neill from arizona state this is a card that is six foot four 245 82 speed 86 acceleration not the worst physical stats for a defensive lineman 84 finesse moves 76 power moves good block shed lower impact blocking and for traits has no pass rush traits on yes so we'll talk about pass rush traits real quick bull rush move think of that as the power move rating spin and swim think of that as the finesse move rating now for this card we would only want spinner swim on yes now the fact that he has no pass rush traits on yes this kind of gives him like an auto shed timer and it's to do with like and it's to do with his pass rush ratings right i don't think he is that bad of a card i don't think he's crazy but this is gonna be a card that i think can make the c tier man i think he has solid physical stats kind of by like joshua josephs and antoine powell ryland and patrick payton and right after that we also get marvin jones jr right here this is a coca-cola card and if you've been watching the channel a ton been talking a lot about these coca-cola cards i believe the promo is you just go to your local store get a bottle or a can of coke and there should be some sort of code and this is actually i'm not kidding probably the best coca-cola player i've seen he's six foot five 257 82 speed 84 acceleration 85 finesse moves 80 power moves lower block shed lower impact blocking but for traits only the spin and the swim move on yes so he's not going to use that 80 power move rating he's only going to use 85 finesse moves i think marvin jones is again really really solid in the game i could maybe see him in the b tier and i don't hate it i'm also going to place him by like patrick payton and I do like the cards in the C tier. And right after that, we get Akeem from the U right here. And this card is six foot three, 280, 80 speed, 80 acceleration, 81 finesse moves, 88 power moves. This time again, no pass rush traits on yes and no real block shed or impact blocking. I feel like the past two cards, they could have been higher if they would have had better block shed or impact blocking. Also placing this card in the C tier. And I think you have a ton of value right here for your pass rushers. And now after that, we get legend Brian Arakpo that has cards starting from the 85 overall going up to the 90, of course and we're gonna get started with the 85 right here now what's not gonna change is six foot four 257 and from the 85 to like the 89 it's all gonna be plus ones this card 83 speed 84 excel 76 finesse moves 83 power moves 82 block shed 84 impact blocking traits no pass rush traits on yes i feel like brian rack pro from his 85 to his 87 it's like pretty much the same and even his 88 as well i kind of want to place them all by each other again it's just plus ones i'm gonna place the 88 and also the 87 uh slightly in the b tier just because they're increased in physical stats and also the fact that he has 85 power moves on the 87 and the 88 and the 85 and the 86 from here are just going to be in the c tier a lot of cards in the c tier now finally though we get 90 overall brian arakpo and i think we take a pretty big jump right here because it's the 87 speed 88 acceleration so crazy good physical stats but this time he bare minimum hits 80 finesse moves 90 power moves is nice 86 block shed 88 impact blocking again same traits i think brian arakpo is also on this a tier level so so yeah gonna place brian arakpo in the A tier. Right after that, we get Javon Curse right here. And Curse again, like Brian Rackpo, starting off at an 85, gets cards all the way up to the 90 overall. And um, we're going to go ahead and start off at his 85 right here. And this card, 82 speed, 82 excel, 80 finesse moves, 85 power moves, 82 block shed, all really solid. And for traits, same traits as Brian Rackpo, no pass rush traits on yes. So I think Javon Curse again from the 85 and the 86, very similar to Brian Rackpo. Uh, again, it's just plus ones. I'm going to place both of these cards also in the C tier. So it's 85. 86 are going to be in the c tier now i think we get a little bit better right here with the 87 and he has 84 speed 84 excel 87 power moves 82 finesse moves 84 block shit 81 impact blocking so it's 80s across the board for everything and yeah the 87 and the 88 are going to go ahead and slightly make the b tier for me and of course now we get the full curse right here and this card 88 speed 87 acceleration 84 finesse moves 90 power moves 88 block shed 83 impact blocking same trade as before i think this curse card right here is good enough to join 
James Pierce in the S tier, ever so slightly. I think he's better than the A tier guys. And yeah, he's gonna be our first new addition to the S tier today. All right, and then after that, we get Jordan Allen right here, 86 overall. And he has 85 speed, 85 acceleration, 84 finesse moves, 80 power moves, 84 block shit, 82 impact blocking. This time for traits, he only has the bull rush move on yes, which kind of hurts this card. He's only gonna use that 80 power move rating. I still think he's a very balanced pass rusher. Also again, the speed and excel are really solid. I'm gonna place uh, Jordan Allen actually in the B tier, like the card. We also get Trevin right here from Baylor. He's six foot five, 300. So you could play him at DT, but really good core ratings. 85 speed, 86 XL, 84 finesse moves, 83 power moves, 85 block shit, 85 impact blocking. This time, no uh, pass rush traits on yes, but this is another card from a core rating standpoint. I think he is good enough to join the B tier. And right after that, we get Anto Saka right here from Northwestern. I probably butchered that, but this is a card that is 6'4", 245, 84 speed, 88 acceleration, has 88 finesse moves, 72 power moves, 79 block shed, 70 impact blocking, no pass rush traits on yes. So I think this is just, again, kind of like a physical stat type of card. I'm going to go ahead and place him also in this big group in the C tier. And right after that, we get Jaden right here, and he's another Coca-Cola card. Doesn't have like card art loaded, kind of weird, but um, 6'3", 2 245, 84 speed, 82 acceleration, 86 finesse moves, 80 power moves, 84 block shed, 73 impact blocking, this time only the spin move trade on yes, meaning he's only going to use 86 finesse moves. I like the card. This is going to be another addition to the B tier for me. We also get Octavius right here from Kentucky, and this card has 82 speed, 86 excel, 80 power moves, 73 finesse moves, 85 block shed, 70 impact blocking, no pass rush traits on yes, and I think Octavius, kind of similar to the other cards we covered in the C tier, going to join this big group. And Right after that, we get 88 overall Fidel Diggs right here. And this card is six foot five, 260, 84 speed, 90 acceleration is really nice. 90 finesse moves is great as well. Lower power moves, lower block shed, lower impact blocking buffer traits. Only the spin and the swim move trade on yes. And that means he's not going to use power moves. Now, the one weakness of the card is block shed. But the fact that we hit 90 finesse moves, I think this is a card that I could see debated a tier and the fact that he hits 90 fit yeah you know what i'm gonna play some a tier i love the fact that this card hits 90 finesse moves maybe you could say he's more deserving a b but 90 finesse moves i get the block sheds lower but man a little bit similar to like romello height with the fact that the one weakness is their run defense we also get clayton smith right here who again is pretty similar to the card we just covered um six foot four 230 86 speed 90 acceleration 90 finesse moves yet again but the run defense really isn't great but again spin and swim on yes bull rush on no meaning he's not going to use the 71 power moves. Clayton Smith is going right by Diggs for me. I'm placing him in the A tier. And right after that, we get Mateo right here from Oregon. This card is 6'5", 270, 89 speed, 90 acceleration, 85 power moves, 80 finesse moves, 92 block shit is great. So the run defense is actually a strength. A little bit lower impact blocking, no pass rush traits on yes. I think this card, he's in like a weird spot because I feel like he's either best in A or probably worse than S. Like, if we compare Romelo Height to him, he beats him on run defense. I feel like Romelo Height is a better pass rusher, but Mateo also has some crazy physical stats. I'm gonna go ahead and lean Mateo in the S tier, man. Just slightly over Romelo Height. He doesn't really have, like, crazy weaknesses, and also his speed and excel is pretty crazy. Now we get field pass Landon Jackson right here, and this card has 88 speed, 89 acceleration, but the pass rush is a little bit underwhelming, in my opinion. I mean, 75 finesse was really isn't great. He has good run defense, and this time for traits, he has bull rush and swim move on yes, meaning he's gonna use the 75 finesse move rating i don't know if this is a hot take or not i like fidel Diggs and also uh, clayton smith over this card i think he's just like a b tier player I, I really don't feel like this is a 91 overall and then right to that we get jack sawyer right here and this card is six foot five 260 88 speed 85 excel 93 power moves 85 finesse moves 91 block shit 83 impact blocking for traits only the swim move on yes meaning he's not going to use the 93 power moves he's actually only going to use 85 finesse moves however i think jack sawyer may be the best defensive end in the game I'm not gonna lie. I think he's definitely deserving of this S tier. I think he could debate placement throughout every single tier, but he is going S for sure. Right after that, we also get Jared Verse right here, and Jared Verse is 84 speed, 85 excel, 90 power moves, 85 finesse moves, 90 block shed, 89 impact blocking, and for traits, no pass rush traits on yes, but just has some of the best core ratings in the game. So Jared Verse is also gonna be someone that joins the S tier, and again, you can debate placement. And now we actually did end up getting another defensive end right here. We got Kmon Rucker from UNC, and now this card right here is 6'2", 265, has 88 speed, 88 acceleration with 90 power moves, 80 86 block shed and also 82 finesse moves. And now what we're gonna do real quick because he is in the reveal tab for me right now. We're gonna take a look at his previous card because he'll have the same exact traits and he has the bull rush and swim move on yes. Meaning he will use both of these two ratings but I think Kmon Rucker is another card where I am comfortable with him 
being in the S tier. So yeah, boys, this has been my updated thoughts on the defensive end position in college football ultimate team. Let me know your guys thoughts down below in the comments. Let me know what you agree with, what you disagree with. Who do you think should go up? Who do you think should come down? Now, if you guys did enjoy this video, though, you enjoy content like this, want to stay up to date with everything that's the best here in college football, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Now, if you guys do want to go ahead and see me use some of these cards live on stream, I've been streaming here on both YouTube and Twitch to watch on the YouTube. Make sure that that noti bell as well. You'll be notified every time I upload or go live here. Or if you guys want to watch on the Twitch, check the links in the description, hit that Twitch with the follow. But if you guys do want another video to watch, check out this one right here.